As you might know, LED retrofit and halogen bulbs differ from one another in terms of wattage, composition, and power consumption. And sometimes those differences can also bring some challenges. So today's expert is Lucas Cooper, and he will lead our way. When upgrading your car with LED retrofit bulbs, a few challenges may occur, such as an error message on a dashboard, flickering effect, dimming effect, or even no light situation. Therefore, we have developed smart solutions to overcome those challenges. The first challenge is an error message on the car's dashboard. What could possibly go wrong? Some cars happen to be equipped with bulb failure detection. Quite useful. The system detects when the bulb is defective or broken and thus sends a warning message on a dashboard. The fact is that LED retrofit bulbs use much lower wattage than halogen bulbs. We are talking twice or three times less wattage. 55 watts for halogen, 20 watts for an LED. And this is exactly why the computer detects LED bulbs as defective, which they are not. In order to fix that, we developed a device called Philips LED Adapter CAN Bus. This small unit will increase the draw of electrical current while still maintaining normal bulb function. There. The current draw is now perceived as being within the expected range. No more error messages on the dashboard. Other challenges you could face are flickering and dimming. Dimming is a loss of brightness, and neither one of these have to do with wattage. Flickering and dimming are due to vehicle's PWM electrical system. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. Long story short, the signal creates a conflict between the car's electronics and the electronics from the control box of the LED retrofit bulb. An oscilloscope measures this conflict as a square wave. This is why we developed the Philips LED Light Repair CAN bus. It will modify the signal in order to flatten it and eliminate both flickering and dimming. And then, sometimes, the bulb simply doesn't light up. This is due to polarity. Indeed, some LED retrofit bulbs are polarized, meaning they have positive and negative pins on the connector, just like a battery. The solution is very easy. Simply rotate the bulb and match the pins together. Our new generation of Philips Extreme Altilon LED bulbs are not polarized. Therefore, you don't have to worry about positive and negative pins anymore. And let there be light. Oh, one last thing though. All Philips LED retrofit bulbs are EMI certified. EMI stands for electromagnetic interference, meaning they won't affect the functioning of any other electronic devices in the car, such as the radio reception. Okay guys, well that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon leading the way. Innovation and you, Philips.